I'm Dwayne Rolfs of Servants United Parish. I will be leading daily devotions with you. The basis for these daily devotions is from Christ in Her Home, a daily devotional series. The Bible readings are from the Revised Standard Version. For Mar Monday, March 21st, our reading is from Isaiah, the 55th chapter, verses 1 through 9. Ho, everyone who thirsts, come to the waters. And you that have no money, come buy and eat. Come buy wine and milk, without money and without price. Why do you spend your money for that which is not bread, and your labor for which, that, for which does not satisfy? Listen to me carefully to, to, to me. Listen, listen carefully to me and eat what is good, and delight yourselves in rich food. Incline your ear and come to me. Listen so that you may live. I will make you an everlasting covenant, my steadfast, sure love for David. See, I have made him a witness to the people, a leader and commander for the peoples. See, you shall call nations that you do not know, and nations that do not know you shall run to you. Because of the Lord your God, the Holy One of Israel, for he has glorified you. Seek the Lord while he may be found. Call upon him while he is near. Let the wicked forsake their way, and let the unrighteous their thoughts. Let them return to the Lord, that he may have mercy on them, and to our God, for he will abundantly pardon. For my thoughts are not your thoughts, nor are your ways my ways, says the Lord. For as the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways, and my thoughts than your thoughts. Word of the Lord. When we go low, God goes high. So my ways are higher than your ways, and my thoughts than your thoughts. Verse 9. In the great litany, many congregations use as they enter Lent. We who live in the United States pray for our president, governor, and mayor by name, and for Congress and the Supreme Court. Throughout the year, my congregation also includes the president in the prayers of intercession. This is no small thing and sometimes forces us to pray for someone who would normally would, would no, wouldn't normally be on our prayer list. Both the season of Lent and the prophet Isaiah stand as stark reminders that the surprising work of God is open to all. This includes our president, a co-worker we don't get along with, the neighbor of or family member we unfriended on Facebook. We and thus those we consider wicked or unrighteous are all invited to return to a gracious God and who will abundantly pardon. Verse 7. When we go low, God goes high. This gracious God offers a table of rich food, including wine and bread, and joins us together in the work of love. Our prayer. During this season, give us a hunger and thirst for, for righteousness, abundant God. Amen. Please join me in the Lord's Prayer. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen.